I am very honored to be introducing to you a man who has dedicated his life to a sport and especially to the athletes that he has coached. I'm also very lucky to be able to stand here and say that that man is my father, Jim McMahon of Midland University. My father's list of accomplishments is simply amazing. In his 33 years as coach at Midland, his cross-country and track teams have earned a combined 50 conference titles and 21 district titles. Coach McMahon has coached many NAI All-Americans and scholar athletes throughout his career. 16 of his former athletes and one team have been inducted into the Midland Athletic Hall of Fame. More impressive, however, is the fact that four of his former athletes have been inducted into the NAIA Hall of Fame. The ultimate accomplishment for his team came in 1989 when he guided the, the Midland Lutheran College women's indoor track and field team to the national team title. It was the first national team title in the school's history. That same year, he was recognized by his peers as the NAI Track and Field Coach of the Year. His dedication and years of service are an inspiration around the Great Plains Athletic Conference and in the NAIA nationally. He has served on games committees and juries of appeals. He's been the head referee. He served eight years as a coach's association officer and was a member of the Scholar Athlete Committee for years. His service to the sport and to his athletes are a true reflection of why we are honoring him. Coach McMahon can coaches to help his athletes and the sport as a whole, always while continuing to improve. Those of you who know my father probably know he is a quiet, modest man who lets his actions speak for him. He is held in high esteem by his colleagues, coaches, and athletes alike. When they describe my dad, you'll hear words like dedicated, loyal, passionate, committed, and focused. But his actions go far beyond the track. The commitment, dedication, and integrity he models as a coach is reflected by his alumni athletes through self-discipline and positive work ethics. Many have become physicians, therapists, nurses, military officers, teachers and coaches also, as well as lawyers. He has had a positive impact on hundreds of lives as a, as a coach, as a professor, as a mentor, and as all of our friends. My father embodies and models the Champions of Character program and he personifies what it means to be a coach in NAI. For that, we are honored to bestow upon him the association's highest honor, induction into the NAI Hall of Fame. that you, as you get older, it seems that time goes more quickly. I know that when Rochelle Schmidt was competing at Doan, it seemed like she'd never graduate. <laughs> now it seems like yesterday since she graduated, and here she is inducted into the NAI Hall of Fame today. Congratulations, Rochelle. Thank you, Ruth Stein and the Selection Committee for allowing me to share this honor with Rochelle today. I've been privileged to coach almost my entire career in NAI institutions, and I'm grateful to have been allowed to coach in an organization where coaches have a say and ordinary athletes are given extraordinary opportunity. However, the satisfaction I feel is not only from the opportunities I've been given, but from the people who have helped me so much along the way. I've heard almost everyone who ever stood up here, including Rochelle, say that you don't get here by yourself, and it's so true. Number one is my family, and the person who has been there for me step for step for the last 41 years, 42 on August 7th, excuse me, June 7th. <laughs> my wife, Karen. Without her, I would not, without her, I would not be here today. She is able to provide subtle and not so subtle advice on a daily basis and she is the administrative assistant in our athletic department at Midland University. My three sons are here, and they know firsthand what it is like to have a dad who's a coach. Sometimes celebrations like birthdays and graduations go on without me or are celebrated later when I return from a meet. All three of my sons, Christopher, Sean, and Kyle, are graduates of Midland. I am proud of each of them and they are all successful, which again is a testament to my wife Karen, as I wasn't always there. My two sisters, Judy and Carol, 
have made the trip here today to be with me to celebrate. Sean's wife, Beth, has also taken the time from her teaching job to be here. 17 years ago today, I was at the NAI Track and Field Championship in Azusa, California. When I called home, my wife informed me that Beth had just given birth to our first grandchild, Samantha. Though I was not home to celebrate her birth, she has come here today to celebrate with us. Happy 17th birthday, Samantha. My grandson, Ross, is also here. He's at an age where he likes to compete and compete successfully in both the long jump and cross country. I'm afraid that unless he becomes a steeplechaser, he may have to make a choice in the two at some point. <laughs> Besides my son, Sean, who's my greeter today, and my son, Kyle, who ran cross country and track for me at Midland also, Virgie Bully, Melody Robinson Britt, John Christensen, and my presenter, Todd Lyon, who again was my first national qualifier at Midland, are here today. They represent the real reason that I'm here. It's because of their success and the success of hundreds of other athletes that have been part of the Midland Track and Field program that I was considered for this honor. Finally, I'd like to thank you, NAIA coaches. My first national meet was at Billings, Montana in 1972. Following the last day, I visited long into the night with another young coach. We told stories about our young careers and shared philosophies about working with distance runners. Though his name didn't mean much to me at the moment, I should have taken notes because that fall, his team, Malone College, won their first of many national cross-country championships. Since then, I've been proud to call Jack Hazen and many of you other NAIA coaches friends, and I always will be. Nine years ago, Justin Horner stepped in to become my assistant, and four years ago, he stepped up and assumed the head coaching duties in track and field at Midland. I'll always be grateful to Justin, as he certainly has made my life easier. I am thankful to the coaches in what I believe is the best small college conference in the United States, the Great Plains Athletic Conference. You guys are so competitive that you make each other better, in particular the coaches at Doan College. Ed, Fred, Dave, Dave, and Brad, who nominated me for this honor. You're the model that everyone in the conference strives to achieve. My father worked his entire life at a job he didn't really like. However, he found a hobby that he loved. I've been blessed to find a hobby that I love and it is my job. Thank you all for this tremendous honor, and good luck to all the coaches, athletes, and officials this weekend.